Hook and Needles podcast. This is episode 223. It is Monday, the 5th of September. Happy Labor Day to everyone in the United States. It is early. Mm-hmm. It is not even 9 o'clock. Well, it's a little after 9 o'clock. It's 9.30 in the morning because everybody's home and this seems to be the best time to record. So, I just got off of work about, well, now it's closer to... An hour and a half ago. So we're, it's going to be interesting to see if she stays awake. And I just returned from Mass about 30 minutes ago, so... Lay your bets, ladies and gents. Lay your bets. I don't bet. I only do sure things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, um, you may, the, there may be ex- extemporaneous or extemporaneous noises because both the husband and the other daughter are home in opposite rooms, and they keep forgetting that we're here. So... Um, which movie was it? I want to say it was an indie movie. I never gamble with money. I only gamble with my life. Is that indie? Um, it's sound. No, that's Han. I think. I think it's actually really. I think it's actually. I think it's actually Han or Han. I, you know. I okay. What do you do? You guys call Han Solo Han Solo or Han Solo? Yeah, I always. Flip I back I back. always say Han. You've always print. You kind of. I flip. Yeah, you. It, it you depends. tend toward Leia and Lando's pronunciation. Because I know that Luke says Han. But Leia says Han. And so does Lando. And so does, La- so does Lando, yeah. Um, I think everyone else says, well, I don't know. I don't know. I always say Han like Luke does. I think the new guy, um, not not Ray, the, the kid, uh, Finn, I think mm-hmm. he calls him Han. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, that was complete. Okay, yes. Uh, welcome. You, Lona- you, I think you're right. I think it is Han who says it. Okay. Good. Now that we've got that settled, can we move on? This is a knitting and crocheting podcast. But it's bugging me. Uh huh. Anyway. Okay. There was somebody's thing, uh, the horn, or alarm, something or something in the, in the background. Anyway, welcome to the Fun Woman Cave, the PHN Fun Woman Cave. We want to welcome all new and returning viewers. We thank you for joining us here. If you are still in the shadows, Please come out and join us officially so that you can be eligible for prizes and giveaways and all that kind of stuff. It's, we like to give away things, but you have to remember the group to take part in that. My name is Marlisha, also known as Lady Furnico. Um, my name is Tali, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. And I have, since it's Labor Day, I have my special chai tea in my big travel mug. Also, I didn't have my morning tea yet. Oh, I forgot to bring my David's tea travel mug. To show. No, I showed it last week. Mm-hmm. That's right. I love that mug. It actually keeps things but lest we super forget, hot. Lest we forget. I forgot mine. Choice versus hair. Okay. This was very impromptu, so it's going to be a little bit chaotic. We do have... Chaos? Here. What about my tea? Well, you're too slow. <laughs> Spoiled bunny stop. Spoiled bunny. We need Valeria here. <laughs> Spoiled bunny stop. <laughs> so, I am drinking in my stages of Dick Grayson mug. Um, Unless you want to say that it's well, Tim, it's, Dick, and that's definitely not Tim's Robin. No, it's not. That's and, definitely Dick's Robin, and it's not it's not um, Damien's. Damien either. That's definitely Dick's Robin, and then I mean, there's only one Nightwing really, yeah. and, and Jason wouldn't have been there with uh, at that age. And that. that's a little slender to be Bruce's Batman mm-hmm. around the jaw. That's almost more of Dick's uh, jawline. Unless you're watching the Batman, yeah, <laughs> when everybody's like, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm inclined to these stages of Dick Grayson. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I have Oregon Breakfast Black Tea by Plum Deluxe. I thought of getting some of my chai tea that's been uh, sitting downstairs, some of my powdered chai tea, 
and just putting it in a big mug, but then I decided, well, I'm my Plum Deluxe. So, okay, so now I do want to welcome um, our, like, we already welcomed our returning viewers. We're so glad to have you back, and we've asked the people in the shadows to come out and join us officially, but now I want to wel welcome the ones who have joined us officially. From the shadows. From the shadows, or otherwise. Yes. We have Linster Crafts, who is Linnea, and Linnea actually, <laughs> I think she said she accidentally deleted mm -hmm. us, and now she's back, so welcome back, Linnea. We're glad to see welcome you back. back. We have Grand Barbie Quilts. I think that's fun. Uh, yes. I don't know what the name is of the person. There's not Grand Barbie, find. that's Grand Barb. Yeah, I said, I think I said B because I saw quilts and I wanted to say barbecue. So, of it's, course. It's Grand Barb Quilts. Mm -hmm. But, sorry, I guess she's now Grand Barbie Quilts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you with you. I will strive to call you what you're supposed to be called. Grand and not Barb call quilts. you Barbie. Yes. Oh, no, I don't let them know. Grand Barb Quilts. Welcome aboard. And I hope she's not called Barbie because then I would have offended her. <laughs> so, welcome aboard. And we have Loopy Lena, who is um, Lena. Welcome, Lena. Welcome. So, we have those three new members who are official. Yay. Welcome Yay. aboard. Okay. Kenneth Turboville. Kenneth, who is uh, the Turbo Native 64 from that podcast, the Turbo Tur The Turbo Knitter? Turbo Knitter. Yes. I can't talk. This is impromptu. I've yeah, I've already explained this. I guess anyway, the podcast called impromptu. Turbo Knitter sixty four, who is Kenneth, is having a July, August, September craft along red and pink. And as you know, if you watch this for another time, I've said this repeatedly, he usually is our co host, one of our co hosts for the cardiac red along. He couldn't do it this year for She health repeats reasons. it again and again. I do. He is still doing this along and Anything that's red or pink that you put in there can be put in here. So check yes. that out. He's, his podcast is awesome. He, I think he's doing right now at a monthly schedule. Mm -hmm. but is, he, is he doing until the end of September? Yes. He, okay. September, um, he expanded it, okay. extended it. So that's really fun. His podcast is excellent, very uplifting, very positive. Um, he's just getting back into the swing of things after some health issues. So pop over there and check him out if, you, if you're looking oh. for someone to... Uh, watch because he's well worth <clears> it. <throat> we also have the uh, upcoming that upcoming we have the PHN toy along which begins in October. Yes, and you'll hear more about that later. That will be knitted and, and crocheted. That's toys. been like our fourth or this is our fourth or fifth yeah. annual toy along. So that'll be fun, and we'll talk more about that when it comes. So anyone else who uh, who uh, has done a toy along, we've done it first. <laughs> <laughs> are pretty darn close mm -hmm. okay and it's it's a long cal cal it goes all the way through christmas so and up through like the 31st and yeah so like all of our cows mm -hmm. three months because we're just simply too lazy to organize more than you know it's more fun to have more time it is you can do more projects okay all right so the cardiac read along there are no real fun facts today no facts today because as i said we did this kind of on a rush job so she has to get to bed and I have to get things done also, but we want to make sure we record it today. Yes. So it runs. I mean, we, was gonna re we were going to record today regardless. Right, but, but I, like we're not showing the prizes today because we have kind of a, a time constraint because I have to be somewhere at one, she has to get to bed, and my husband is home, and all kinds of things going on. So we are kind of crunched a little bit, but we'll move on. We'll endeavor to give you a decent crunch. podcast. Crunch. Crunch. Do not wish to be crunched. What about the garbage masher? No, I'm not Shredder. We want to welcome... Wrong reference. No, it's not. Garbage masher. A garbage masher Shredder did... They had the... I'm talking about the um, garbage masher in Star Wars. Oh, well, yeah, but that's different. Well, anyway. it was a crush. Well, so was the other one. I don't remember the one for Shredder. You don't remember Casey Jones standing at the back and pushing the button and... <laughs> crush. No. Oh, wow. You have to go watch the turtles again. <laughs> oh, the original one? Yes. No. Yes. With, with, um... Not with the green arrow as, uh... No. No, no. Okay, well, no wonder I don't remember. I didn't care for those that much. Okay, anyway, back to where I was going. Those are cardiac, so 90s. Cardiac Red Along. It's our third annual Cardiac Red Along. Our co-host is Melissa, who is Spicy Homemaker from the Spicy Homemaker podcast. And she's an awesome... Uh, co-host. Keep an eye on her podcast. You need to remember her group and our group to participate yes. because we're so intertwined. 
and she is just fun to watch. She has pop-up threads, she does Instagram things, she, all the FOs and whips are in our group. Mm -hmm. So if you want prizes that way, you need to be part of our group. And if you are watching this, you already are most likely. So unless you're not, unless you're not, unless you're in the shadows. So you know, please join us. Whips and FOs are both eligible for prizes. And um, you have one whip per project, project per, per week, week and the FO whenever it's finished. We do not have any double chance prizes in the cardiac red along. We, um, but we do have it for something else that we'll be talking about later. Okay, we, let me see here. Um, only random notes, um, and this is for any emergency, not just cardiac. Um, this actually accidentally comes up some of the, somewhat as an antidote as well. Um, not antidote, an ants. Antidote? Antidote, thank you. I can't speak right now. <clears throat> antidote is something entirely different. Um, I was trying to call number for pharmacy for work. Last night, and the number went in wrong. Called nine one one quickly. Hung up. Um, nine one one will call you back mm -hmm. if you hang up. Um, just if to you check, have yeah. to check to make sure you're actually okay. So the point of that is, if say your loved one or you call nine one one and have an issue and are not able to finish the call, they will first call you back, and then if you don't respond, say you had a heart attack, they'll probably send somebody. They will send somebody. That's awesome. So that's good to know. Just an FYI. Not that I advise you hang up on nine one one. No, no, no. <laughs> not a good idea. Um, I had a dream about that last night. It was really weird. Some kid came and got me. Said somebody was in distress or whatever. So I went, and she kept saying, "Okay." I said, "Do you want me to call nine one one?" Okay. Yeah. And then she kept calling this number, like to Walmart, um, Walmart hospital or something and so and then so I said well do you want me to call that number or 911 and she just she wouldn't give me the answer she just kept holding this telephone up his number it was the weirdest Walmart hospital huh yeah that's kind of frightening um, where well, you can get basically anything you want man uh, yeah some some people would be very uh happy if that's how hospitals worked yeah it was very strange it was really weird anyway we do have several prizes for this along. We are we have donators. I'm just going to say who donated. I'm not going to say what they donated this time. We'll, we'll show up maybe next week. Uh, Brittany, who is B-Wing. Christina, who is Mama C. Uh, so I'm just telling myself we have donated things. Uh, Mariette, who is Wilhelmina, from a prize that she donated a long time ago. Um, let's see. Yarnsit, who is Jean. Debbie1608. Candy, who is paused for stitches, mm -hmm. Allison Roseboom, and I believe the Turbo Knitter 64, he mentioned on his podcast that we may be getting bags from him. I think two of them. Whoa. So if he's able to, to do that. So that is amazing. I know he offered it to us, and he offered it to Heidi for her, um, uh, I think it was her Knit Spin Dialogue. Boy, if I went to that, I hope I win one of those. <laughs> but anyway, so that's there are a lot of prizes for that. Is Knit Spin Die over? It is over. She, she has locked the thread. Okay, now the tortoise versus the hare. Do you want to take on, take that? Um, sure. Um, basically, it's been, it runs the length of... Excuse me. I'm congested. It, I'm reaching the end of my um, allergy medicine and its effectiveness. Um, it runs until... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> the uh, end of the cardiac ride along, which ends at the end of September. Um, this was a the brainchild of Laura of the Crocheting Whovian podcast. Is she a Crocheting Whovian or Crocheting Whovian? The, I don't know. Yeah, I always get mixed up. I can find if, her, but... If you type Crocheting Whovian. It'll come her. up, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, her podcast group is... Crochet, the Crocheting Whovian Allegiance. Allegiance. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and um, she started this with the idea of, well, it's exactly what it says. It's tortoise versus the hare. You make toys that are either tortoise eye or hares. Tortoise eye? Tortoise eye. Tortoise eye. Tortoise eye. Mm. Mm. Or you can make a hare. Um, turtle bunny or a bunny turtle. <laughs> Um, so, sorry guys, 
Yeah. And I was worried about this happening. If she, if we did it, I got home. She said, "How about we podcast?" Anyway, um, I am awake, mm -hmm. fully and utterly. I won't let her lay down, Valeria, to show the socks. She'll go to sleep, like you said. Um. So yes, Laura asked us to co-host with her. Awesome. We are very happy to do so. so much the fun. feature patterns are, to me, the timid turtle. And Biddy the bashful baby turtle, and I don't know and what I was. The bunny. And oops, the bunny. <laughs> she even forgot she's a turtle. <laughs> Yay, team no. turtles! No. <laughs> Yay. What I was going to comment on was the fact that team turtles. It's quite horrible that I chose to make all these turtle titles alliterative. I know, <laughs> because it makes it very difficult to say Biddy and Timmy's names with any speed. I know. Yeah, Biddy the bashful baby turtle and. Timmy the Timid Turtle. At least Timmy the Timid Turtle. Timmy comes a little easier, but when you're trying to do biddies, it's like Biddy the Bashful, bashful Baby, baby Turtle. Well, I forget what I said last week. I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah. At least the last part wasn't a B, but still. Biddy the Bashful Baby Burble? <laughs> <laughs> what do they call baby turtles? Ta no, that tables are frogs. What are... I think they're just turtles, aren't they? I mean, I don't know. Oh. Um... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and those are teenage. Yeah, those are, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, you can make any turtle or hair. Knitted or crocheted. Knitted or crocheted, but you only get um, a chance to post twice and have extra chances for prizes if you knit one of my uh, tortoise eye or hairs. Well, I don't have one kind of hair, but you know. Curly hair? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. We do have prizes. Yes, we do. We have, we're, we're donating a mug, right? Yes, a mug. A mug, and then you saw the bag that Ann Brody donated, the medium one. Mm -hmm. That's going out to one of you guys. It's an awesome bag. We're, we have, you'll see them later. Ours, our large one, later in the podcast. But Well, I, mine's not here. Oh, mine, well, mine is. The medium bag is very, very nice size, and it's great for like a shawlette or a shawl mm -hmm. or a hat or anything about you know mid-size very nice and let me see here do we have anything else for that um oh, oh quick notes about baby hats um the uh volunteer director at the hospital has been very grateful for all the hats everybody has been sending she was saying that um even some of the hats that are not quite baby size like are a little bigger a little bigger um I guess there might have been a couple that actually worked for adults. Uh, they are still being used uh, by people who so we are can in send, need. So we can send to either pregnancy center or the hospital with mm -hmm. slightly bigger hats. Yeah. Okay. Because um, they still get use out of them. Okay. All right. The This along, the Tortoise vs. Harris Talia said, does run until the 31st of September, so you still have another month, which is awesome. And as we said, the whips and FOs will be eligible for prizes. We have asked, or actually, Laura has asked, and I'm terrible at this, that we tag the project CW Tortoise versus Hair 2016. I'm awful at tagging things. And hashtag CW Tortoise versus Hair 2016 for Instagram. You see, I'm bad at that too. I'm really bad at tagging things, but we'll. I will try. <laughs> I will try. Okay. Um, Brian's done with the with his toy. I think Brian. Along. Yes, Brian is done with his toy along. I don't think he's locked it yet, but I think he's he's done with it because it was. Um, well, he said the other day he had work and well, other and, things and to we, worry about. Yeah, please pray for his uh, father. He did mention it on the group, so I figure it's okay. Oh, okay. His father had, I think he was admitted to the ER, and I think he's. You don't get now. admitted to the ER, mom. Well, he came into the ER. I don't know if he got actually admitted to the hospital, but he had to go to the hospital. I don't know if he's back or not, but just keep him in your prayers. Mm -hmm. And Brian's been really busy with school and work, so. He, it might be a, a little bit before he gets the podcast up and is able to take care of all that. Right. But do, you know, do darn him for having a life. Uh, really? I mean, how dare he have a life other I than mean, podcasting? <laughs> you know? How ridiculous. And thank you, Brian. I did see your comment on YouTube. I haven't had a chance to answer. I was going to do that when I got home from Mass today. But Surprise. we do appreciate the fact that you watch or listen to us right away. That makes us happy. Thank you very much. Yay. And Brian is a lot of fun to watch. Yes. If you haven't watched him, he has five episodes up, I think. You, you have plenty of time to maybe catch up before he does his next one. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we are to 
the projects is projects is okay how many do you have uh seven i think let me see yeah seven whoops i have seven as well all right well you can go first this time because i went first last time not like anyone's counting or anything like that. Well, it'll come back to bite me if you don't, so. Um, that, I don't understand that. I don't either, but it happens. You make no sense. I make every sense. I make dollars, too. In the... <laughs> in Did you see that look? She's completely dazed and confused. Actually, I was going to say something. I decided it wasn't nice and didn't say it after all. That's good because then I would have to flip you. <laughs> and I think, who was it? Diane, I think it was. Farm Wife 99, I think, who was a long time ago, gave me permission. No. Who was it? She was in my corner. She said that I had permission to flip. Was it Diane? You know, it must be hard. There's so few people in your corner that you're unable to oh, remember Oh, I have them. lots of people in my corner. Diane, Farm in Wife. In my um, Silver Shed USA uh, Froggy's bag, is design in progress, which you cannot see. Oh, well, that's fast. Oh, oh, I, 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 I. I didn't throw that very far. <laughs> see, that's what she gets for tossing her bags. I usually throw a little better than that. In my, me, my dog, and some yarn bag. It's a good thing I moved the tea this time. Oh, I know. You would have spilled it all over everything, and I would have been angry. Okay. Here is, this is my me, do me my dog, and some yarn bag. This is Kim who is Black Horse Knitter. Black Horse? I always get it confused. Black Horse. She, or the cherry tree. She is back. She has a podcast up. She is awesome. She has a sock knit along going with, uh, I should have put that in here. I didn't have a chance. I think it's Socktember, a uh, sock knit along with her and Victorian Studios. So if you want to do that, Ty, you might be interested. I think Valeria mentioned you actually. Mm -hmm. But anyway, back to my project in this bag. And I think this is her sock bag, I think. Or maybe it's her medium. I don't know. Anyway, it fits my shawl really well. This is the Violently Happy Shawl. And I'm using US 8s. This is in the Vampiri base. And the Violently Happy Accident colorway of Heidi's Undead Yarn. And I love this. It's so pretty. And it it's so soft. This, is, this yarn, to me, this Vampiri base, I don't know much about socks. But it seems like it might be too soft for socks. It must be around your neck. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I just love Heidi's dye job on this. And it's still coming up like it's got a lot darker blue, but it's beautiful. The colors are there, just a little bit different saturation. Absolutely gorgeous. I didn't do a whole lot of work on this, but I did some. You see, see the pops of oranges on there? Well, if I do half a row, you guys are going to see this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because it's all I'm gonna, sometimes it's all I can do, so that's what you're going to see. It got worked on, right? It got worked on. And I really like this, and I, I haven't made any discernible dis difference on this well maybe a little bit you can see a little bit it's going well, finger weight yarn goes it down is, slower. it is fingering weight and like i said it's not usually the colors i choose but i really like this and if i saw it again i'd buy it mm -hmm. if i didn't have it i just like it and sue family diva mama sue i like your idea about if i if we can't find bigger ones getting another one and doing either two singles because yeah, that's what I thought she meant was doing two singles. I thought she meant do this, get another. But it's it's not it's going to make the same difference. They're both still in the thingy bloggy. What? If you're worried about them fitting, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter because it comes in the other end. You do, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It's not the the fact that it doesn't fit in here. It doesn't fit in the top. Oh, the okay. Slit. But anyway, that was a good idea. But that means I have to buy more of these because I don't have enough of these. Um, for one thing, I keep losing them. I don't know how I lose something this big. Talent. I need to get more. A true gift they must, for losing They things. must be blue. <laughs> they must be blue. Well, the Etsy shop has blue. Yeah, so does Snit Picks. Um, Snit Picks? They have blue and yellow, well, gold and red. Mm -hmm. And I think they have green. So I need I've to get I've never blue. listed any other colors besides the red. Maybe the orange ones. Well, I might get blue and I might get green. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you get red and orange, we won't get them yeah. <laughs> mixed up. So that's why I, I like this project. It's my own, out of my own head. And if it works out, I might see about writing it up. But it's really simple. So, it is there. Okay. 
I'm going to now do a um, another cheat project. You're not going to be able to show it? Yep. In my Cloverbird USA Kissy Buddies bag is the design in progress, which you are not allowed to see. I can see. Open it. I want to see what it is. You know what it is. Hold on. That's the design book. Oh, okay, good. I, I was wondering which one it was. Makes me happy. Okay. So my next one is. is in my Silver Shed USA PHN you, Blue. You've not seen that first here. What? They have not seen what's in that bag No, they haven't. Here. No, they haven't. Nope, they have not. And it will surprise them. Okay, so this is my PHN Blue large 2x bag mm -hmm. from so I love this and it's amazing okay she is this is how much I have left of this ball that I'm working on I keep saying I'm going to change the oh there's my gloves you threw something I did not I dropped there's a difference you threw it I found my gloves you did okay anyway am I in the middle of a row mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay. No, it doesn't I did a row or two on this, maybe. So it is growing slowly. That's is, a large row to go across. Yeah, it is. It takes me about a half an hour to get across this because it's bulky. Bulky. I think this is bulky weight. Um, yarn be tender touch. It is. Um, I can't. So I say four or five. What are you trying right to here, find? Right here. Four. Four? Bulk, I'm sorry, five. It's bulky. bulky. Yeah, okay, it is bulky weight. Does anybody know if there's a difference between bulky and chunky? Is chunky larger, a larger weight the yarn? Same. Or is it kind of like the Aran and Worsted where the chunky is a little bit different? I thought there was a name discernible difference. But anyway, this is my bulky weight. I had originally gotten a sweater's quantity of this to make a sweater. It is now a shawl. And I have a lot of this left over. I've got three or four balls of this maybe more of this left over. So I see a yeah. lot of red in your future. Yeah, I kind of see a lot of red in my future, but this is that's okay. This is a lot of fun. It's it's the Susan Ashcroft just knit it pattern. And it's not it's not difficult. It's just that I can only do so much knitting in a setting. So yeah, this will be done when it's done. But it's fun. And these are my har these are my harmonies, my knit pick harmonies. I don't use my wood needles very much anymore. I may have to invest in some wood DPNs, but they are marvelous. But they are, yeah, I love them. But not wood, not wood DPNs, normal ones. Well, I'm just afraid that I'm gonna lose stitches on the metal. Mm -hmm. But I think I have some wood DPNs. You might. I think they're gonna snap like twigs. Well, they're bigger ones, they're like size eights or something. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So all you're basically carrying is a twig with you. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, it's like a toothpick almost. Yeah. Yeah. See, so not only will you be able to knit your socks, you'll also be able to clean out your teeth when you're done knitting. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> you can just borrow daddy's toothpicks. I don't have to buy any yeah. pieces. Just get daddy's tooth toothpicks. No, dad's toothpicks, as small as they are, are more like cable needles. In yeah, a they're, yeah, because they're, they're um, rounded. Mm -hmm. But that would be kind of fun to just kind of. You have all the different colors, so you know which one is what. You know, when you get to this one, you're mm. done. Different color needles. I'm so, blabbering. You are. Waffling, as uh, Kay and Dan say. The next one is in my um, see. Plum Deluxe Batgirl bag. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize you'd worked on that. Just a little bit one night. I was um, trying to add some yarn. I got a, a little bit done. Um, this is Case Fault Mitered Square Blanket using Scrap Sport, DK, and Worsted Weight yarns. So pretty. And this is going to be warm. It <laughs> is. If it ever gets finished. Well, it will be finished when, just in time to give when it to me in the nursing home. When it's finished. When I'm in the nursing home, she'll have to give it to me because I'll be so cold all the time. It'll be finished when it's finished. When it's finished. Who said that? It's um, from Agony and Ecstasy, and it's Michelangelo to the Pope. 
Right. Right. Because he kept right. yelling up, when will it be finished? When it's when finished! When it's finished! <laughs> anyway. Um, Charlton Heston and... Um, I forget who played the Pope. Uh, it is the same guy who plays Dr. Doolittle. And, oh, Ralph. Uh, not Ralph. Um, and the same guy who plays uh, Henry Higgins yeah. in um, My Fair Lady. Right, I know who he is. Rex Harrison. Rex Harrison, yeah. Anyway, this quote I feel like I had done previously, but I didn't have it marked. Added this one, and then this one. Are you out of my yarn now? No, I just decided I wasn't going to be inconsistent. Oh. I got tired of consistency. She didn't like my yarn. It's, it was too consistent, being consistent. Did you have to switch yarns there? Or no, that's where it's striped. What yarn is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, this happened to be where it's striped. Striped okay. yarn works up differently. It makes it look like I just... Hex and Beast? Yeah. Because you had two skeins for that. I gave you your other skein back. Um, That's pretty. Mm -hmm. it, look how big the stripe is. Yeah, well, it's a difference between an actual self-striping and the... Like, this one appears to stripe. Right, that's uh, creme but brulee. it's at, like if you worked it, it in anything else, it would be like a variegator pooling. That's creme brulee, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. I didn't realize there was orange in that. Woof. I guess with the brown. So yes, this got a little bit of love. It made me happy to see Vonnie got her yarn. It took a long time to get her yarn. When did we send it? I don't remember. Or maybe she just didn't have a time to post it. Yeah, yeah. It made me happy because she posted it with the bag and everything. I can really remember my name some days, mm -hmm. let alone when I send something in the mail. Okay. okay, so let me put this away. Don't throw it if you can knock over things. But, but I want to. If you knock things over, you will be cleaning instead of sleeping. I'll probably just fall asleep on the floor. No, you won't. And you will I'll be, be a, a, crack the whip. You won't be able to rouse me. Yes, I will. I'll be unarousable. I'll poke you with needles. It might not be effective. It will be. I will see I to doubt it. it. Okay. My next one is in my Stitch by Mimi bag, which I absolutely love, all the tea stuff. This is my Bonfire, Bonfire, Bonfire shawl. Bonfire. It's a sock knitter shawl pattern by KF Jones. I'm using US 9. 5.5 millimeter chow goo circulars and Miss Babs Yazzo with a skein in the Rishi colorway and in the Vlad colorway, but I haven't gotten to the Vlad yet. I think Vlad, is that right? Yes. I always get mixed up with the Mad Tosh one. Yes, Vlad. This color. So I think Vlad's the base for Mad Tosh, isn't it? I don't remember. What? Ignore me, go on. Okay. I got a kick because um, Vonnie sent me screenshots of one of my minis and this. And she says, hi. And she sent me them. <laughs> and it made me smile. I thanked her because it was so cute. Mm -hmm. But she sent me, this was one of the things she sent me a screenshot of when I was showing this. And I only got, I think I did three or four rows of this. And this is another one that takes me a while to get across because it's starting to get big. I'm really interested to see how big this will be when I finish it and then block it because I'm using Miss Babs Yowza which is a DK worsted and K I think did she write this for fingering or for sport? I think she wrote it for I fingering. I don't recall. Because the one I tore out Yes, I think was it was written for fingering. Yeah. Because it wasn't that I didn't like the pattern that I tore out, I just didn't like working it in fingering. Right. And I like my shawls a little bigger, so this is perfect and it works up a lot more quickly. In fact I have another one on the needles. Did I make a mistake there? I don't care. I'm not going back. Um, I um, I have another one on the needles in a different color. I just haven't had a chance to work it. I think it's just a loose stitch anyway. Okay. I'm just ignoring it. Anyway, this is fun. I really like this pattern. I like the yarn. I like the bag. This is a happy project. Happy. This is yeah. supposed to be a happy place. This is supposed to be a happy place. Remember he was doing the... Oh. Um, oh. They were doing the... Some musical chairs they, and they I thought this was supposed to be a happy home or s happy place or happy something. yeah it's yeah. a Brian Regan Brian Regan skit. if you if you don't do Brian Regan skits you gotta watch or listen to him they're funny he it's his voice a lot of times he's, yeah and he's just funny 
Okay. Next one I got some more is in my Kitties in the News Silver Shed USA bag. Don't worry, you do get to see what's inside of this one. She's just teasing you, that's all. Okay. She's going to show you nothing. This is Night Queen, Nightwing, the shawl knitter's... Sock knitter shawl. The sock knitter shawl pattern. By K.F. By Jones. K.F. Jones. Of Bakery Bears fame. <laughs> Using Miss Babs Yowza about a skein in the colorway pewter, and then fountain pen will be my edge. And fountain pen is about the color of my sweater. I'm just too lazy to pull it out of the bag that's right in front of me. Um, You lost your... Seat. Oh, well, hey, look. It fell out of the bag that was right in front of me. Wow, that came up a lot more matchy than it actually is. Yeah, it's not quite the same. It's a little bit dark, but it's actually pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is the shawl I just showed you, but in a different color. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? So it would be quite nice to have a nice dark shawl. Especially in the wintertime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. It's a good neutral shawl. Your turn. Okay. My next one is in my Knitting's My Bag large sweater size bag. And I think Lois does a different type of large bag now, but I'm not sure. But this is an awesome bag. It's my, I call it my Monet bag, even though it's not Monet. This is Cherub, the Cheerful Baby Turtle. This is from the Biddy the Bashful Baby Turtle pattern by Talia. And I did get a little more work. I'm on the decreases on the shell. I can show this, right? It's not testing anymore. It's not testing anymore. Okay, so you can see here, I've started to um, decrease on the shell. So I'm having fun with this. I like making turtles. I've had to slow down a lot with some of my, what I'm doing, but I'm getting them done a little at a time, and there's no real rush on this. I'm hoping to finish this before the tortoise versus the hare finishes, and the cal and the cardiac, because there is red in this. Quite a bit of it, actually. So. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. I, I do like it. I'm not making this one a turtle bunny because it wasn't intended to be a turtle bunny. When I do one that's a turtle bunny, I want to pick different colors. Right. So, Ones that are more turtle bunny-ish. Yes. Can you imagine putting a little tail on the back of the turtle bunny? <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun with that. Okay. That's neither here nor there. I'm using... Can you imagine Dad's reaction when he sees a little random turtle bunny in his house? On my bed? <laughs> He he would probably not allow the thing anywhere near his bed. He won't have a choice. It'll be my side of the bed. Anyway, I am using, this is for the PHN 2016 Red Along and for the Tortoise and the Hare. And I'm using the B-Hook, which is a 2.2.5 millimeter and 2 Cascade, 2.2.5. Cascade Yarns Cherub Collection Kaleidoscope DK and Knit Picks Bravo Sport in red, canary, white, and black. And red canary. Yes, white and canary. Okay, um, my next one, um, is in my, um, Kiki Boo Bags, um, Autism Awareness Bag. This is Totally Lear's Fault, the Pippin Socks Pattern by Claire Ellen. I'm using Miss Babs Tarte in the colorway Electric Turquoise. And the reason I keep looking over this way is I had to keep my show notes on my Kindle plugged in. Because I'm almost out of battery, so I had to shift over where I have right. my show notes. Um, this didn't get a whole lot of work. I mean, you guys remember from last week, last week when last I took week? <laughs> when I took this off the needles. Um, I've only done a little bit of the ribbing for the second. We've been so. kind of busy this week. It's going to be a really chaotic week for her this week. So yeah, last week I had a fair amount of education and catching up with sleep. Um, it was work education, um, and then catching up with sleep when I flip back and forth between day shift and night shift for things. That something similar is going to happen again this week. Only more so. Only more so. Um, Saturday I could have gotten on and I just didn't. Um, I just totally vegged. And that happens. Um, I don't do it very often. I usually try to get on at least once, but I didn't, I wanted to veg. She didn't so even did. have her computer out. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Um, I didn't even knit that night. No, nope, she didn't do anything. I read. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you need that to kind of be a palate cleanser or <clears> whatever. So, um, I worked last night. I On Tuesday, I have some education stuff for work. On Monday, I have some education stuff for work. I worked Thursday, Monday? Friday. Wait. Wow, I'm getting tired. Monday's free. We're podcasting today. 
Tuesday education for work, Wednesday education for work, work Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a cramped then, week. And then we have the podcast. She has one day of work, and then we head out to retreat, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So we will have the normal Monday podcast on that week. The one that might be a little late is the following week of the 20-whatever. The mm -hmm. one after the... We'll tell you about it next week. But one of them will be kind of a little dicey on the timing because of the fact that we will be on retreat. So, yeah. All right. Do, do I That's have... That's after... Uh, am after I next? Yes, you are next. Okay. All right. My next project is my... Under the... It's in, in my knitting's my bag, angel bag. This is another one of her large bags. This is one of my favorites of hers because of the angels. I love angels. Um, so this is my under the sea baby hat. It's a loom knitter. The loom knitting primer is where I got at least the bottom. It's like a braided brim. That's where I got that from. And then just a normal kind of basic hat pattern. And the yarn is, okay, this is the baby size thin. <laughs> I have thin bloom. Thin <laughs> bloom. Thin loom. Knitting loom. Half inch with the bulky yarn. This is Lady Furnico Creations bulky yarn in the Under the Sea Oops colorway. So the person who wrote this is Acela Phelps and for the new stitch that I learned. And you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that kind of a braided brim. And you can kind of see how the yarn is working up now that it's a little bigger. It's not gradiated. It's kind of, not really, it's kind of sort of striping a little bit. But not quite. But not quite. It's. I, I guess we have to wait a little longer to see. You can see that there's definitely stripes of blue and green in there. So I, I'm not sure how this is going to end up. It'll be interesting. Do you see how you, see you have the green yeah. and blue? So I'm enjoying this. I, I use this when, um, when I don't want to have to think too much. I enjoy this. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, Laura, for this loom. She gave it to me because she didn't need it anymore, and I use it. I love it. Okay. Um, so the next one um, is in my Kikamoo bags, teacups bag. And this is, or these are, my Color Me Happy socks. And the pattern is I Heart Harvest Socks, and it's by Shelly Stone. Oh, those are pretty. Um, I cast on 72 stitches because they said people who cast on the smaller size, even if they're, they usually knit that size, usually regretted it because the, uh, um, it was tight around the insteps and heel. So, I... Show notes are awesome. And I showed, um, project, project notes are awesome. Yes, they are. <coughs> um, so That's this did pretty. get some work on it. I love the way the stripes are turning out. Because of the way they are done, they look like bigger stripes, but they are definitely, like, little tiny stripes. You can hardly tell the section is, uh, mm. the red is shared. Yeah. Red, kind of pink to, to red to orange. Then it goes into yellow, green, blue. Yeah. The red and the orange really blend. Yeah, they do. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So, Very I've been clever. enjoying this. Very clever. Your turn. Okay. Alright, my next one is in my Kiki Boo medium size Holiday Owls bag, which I use whenever I feel like it because I like the bag. Taya gave me this. Is my it's a new baby hat. It's the bubblegum hat. No, I just did the bubblegum hat. No, I didn't. What is this? I don't know. I wasn't listening to you. Did I miss one? Mm. Hold on. I did not put this one down. Apparently. Where is it? Okay, this is a new one. I must apparently I haven't put this down, so I'm gonna have an extra one. Because I can't find it. But no, I should go first just in case. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, anyway, this is a new one. This was not on the on the loom last week. So this is a unnamed preemie hat. I haven't named it yet. So that's all I've got done of it. This is the colors. So I have to think of a name for it. I seem to be kind of in a purple mood right now. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm not sure. Did I? Did you what? Let me just check something here. I think I showed this one last week. So this is my Apple. Okay. All right. Any other whips? No. Um. Yes, one. Do I think have, I have. How many do you have? One. Okay, go ahead. Um. In my um plover bird owls bag is my nightcrawler socks, which is a Miss L basic six ply pattern designed by Miss L. Um so um thanks Heidi for introducing me to them and their yarn. Oh there it is Ty, I just skipped it, so that's why. Oh good. okay. Okay, go ahead. Um <clears throat> there we go. Very pretty. So this is my now is is that the one that you said was the t shirt? Or is that Yes. One? Okay. And, and, I'm, and I recalled it Nightwing. Oh you did recall it Nightwing? Mm hmm Okay, cool. So there's um that. Very nice. So I'm I'm gonna start getting a little floaty from here on out because I'm feeling a little floaty. Yeah. Let's move on here. And my new Tortoise versus the Hair medium size Silver Shed US A bag made for us specially by Ann Brody, who is lovely, is my bubblegum hat, which is a bank head. I'm using US 7 4.5 millimeter needles and Lady Fernico Creations yarn in the worsted in the bubblegum oops colorway. So this is my yarn, bubblegum oops. And here's my bank head so far. It's a baby it's bank a head. It's a itty bitty baby bashful bank head. Ha! Huh? Itty bitty baby bashful bank head. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you can't really see how it's working up no, too it's much. Way too it's early. too small. But I, st I had to start this a couple times because I was getting confused. I had to ask Talia where the yarn is supposed to be, even though I've done this twice now. Um, when I joined this in the round, where the tail and the yarn, the working yarn is supposed to be on what side. So mm -hmm. she said it had to be on the left. So that's now I know where that is, and I'll be okay. So I, I, I love that pattern. Susie Gorley makes a great hat pattern. I really enjoy this. Okay, so that's my last whip. And that was mine. Do you have FOs? Yes, one. Okay, I have a couple. So do we want to do the yarn? I guess I have two if you count the books. Do we want an FO as a book? Wait, what? FOs, finished objects. Okay, no. No FOs? No. Oh, okay. yeah, I have one. Okay, um, I have... Do we want to do the yarn and the FOs, or do we want to do that um, like you do your design things? What? You have a section for your design. Do you want me to have a section for the yarn, or do you want me to do that in the FOs right now? Just go ahead and do the FOs right now. All right. All right, so first thing I will show you is... Okay. I have a finished object. I haven't taken a picture of this yet. It's a baby hat. This is the baby hat I finished. Yay. So this has to I have to have a picture of it. So that's one. Okay, you want to do one? Uh, yeah, I only have the one. Okay. Okay. So as you may have guessed, because it didn't show up, I finished the Shadow Cat socks for Mom. Yay! This is Michelle's basic six ply sock pattern by Michelle. I used undead yarn in the witch base, and the colorway is hexen hexen beast, beast. self striping. And, and no, they fit. Valeria, I am not going to do that because I have a skirt on. I am not going to lay down on the couch and show my feet. But I love these. I can't wait to wear them. I will probably wear them as soon as I can um, know that I'm going to stay home because they're going to be house socks. Mm -hmm. I forgot something in... Where is my... Where's my bank head? I okay, you I showed your okay, No, I showed my new one. Let me... I have to get something anyway, so I'm going to be out of frame for just a second. Oh, um, you're stuck with me, guys. It's yeah. It's going to be bad. Oh, joy. Let's see here. I know. This one. Um, and the amusing. I can't. You can't? No. You sound like Davina. I can't. Okay. I can't <laughs> even amuse myself right now. You're amusing me. That's good. <coughs> okay. 
I'm back. Sorry about the delay. All right. This is my finished bank head. So this is how it turned out. I think I'm going to have to go to DPNs for the top because I just have a hard time closing it, even with the 9-inch. I don't like the 9-inch circulars. They hurt my hands, even though I didn't give it much of a chance. So it just hurt my hands. So that's that. And this is in my knitting's my bag. No, I'm still going to sleep. I'm not asleep. Okay, now I do have some yarn to show. I showed you there's, there's off your stuff, right? Yes. We, show, we showed this last week, Ty. Oh, that's Ty's um, Walking on the Sun. Mm -hmm. And she wants to make a robin, but a firebird. And fire I, robin. Fire robin. And I didn't, we didn't think she might have enough yarn for that. So I went ahead and split a skein of yarn, some bulky yarn. And I made a yellow and a red. So this is, Yay. goes together like this. So this is Talia's. Thank you. Okay. Some of you might have seen this on Heidi's Knit Spin Die along, or some of the other groups where I entered it. This is Evergreens in the Snow Oak. Oh, okay. One of a kind. I put oak here. This is 220 yards, 100 grams superwash merino yarn. And this one I dyed in the cake. I did an experiment. I dyed it in the cake. And... There's a fair amount of white white in it, but it looks nice. It also has like all this light green where it kind of bled. Tell you wake up. <laughs> when, yes. So that's that's good. And then I did some uh, some dyeing. This one is called. This is. Oh, sport that's not really pretty. Yeah, this is sport weight. This is lavender blue. Oops, O O A K. This is 274 yards, 100 grams, 75% superwash merino wool, and 25% nylon. So this is lavender blue. There's a little bit of blue and a lot of purple in this. Some brown. Brown. Some of those sections look almost brown, like that one there. That's purple. It almost was brown. Purple. But anyway, that's um, lavender blue. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one, but it actually turned out pretty well. So now what pretty. I, thank you. What I did with the next one, and that's a sport weight, what I did with the next one is I had some worsted weight, and I used the exhausted water first from one of the colors, which was a blue. Mm -hmm. I'm here. <laughs> which was a blue. No, actually it was a purple, the exhausted purple, and then I put some blue in. And this is called Ice, Prin Ice Princess. Oops. Oh, okay. This is 220 yards. Superwash merino wool in a worsted weight, and this is the Ice Princess color. Very colorway. pretty. I really like the way this one turned out. It has an overall kind of an undercolor of blue, and then actually has the undercolor of purple, and then the blue. So I had fun with this one. And I have to see what I'm going to do with this. So that's my adventures in yarn dyeing for this week. I'm trying to get some experimentation done before I take the class in at Shenandoah in three weeks. Mm -hmm. So that when I start using the acid dyes, th no, there was no bleeding in these. I Their color has stuck. I mean, I would wash it in cold and not, you know, not um, tumble dry it or anything, but, you know, just normal care for hand knits. Yeah. But it didn't, it didn't bleed at all. I think the one that bled a little bit was the uh, purple one, the more purple one, and just a little bit, and then when I rinsed it, it didn't bleed hardly at all. Right. Okay, so... <clears throat> so, um... That's all for FOs? Mm -hmm. That leads us on to, um... Royalties. Okay, the only royalty I have... Do you have a lot? No, I have two of them together. Two of them together, okay. <clears throat> Mine are two together as well. If my hand ever cooperates, I've had the bug to design. A lot of you know that I've been talking about designing shawls for a long time for uh, knit as opposed to crochet. Up here. Uh -huh. And um, I found something on shawl design that I bought online. Actually, I found two somethings. One is actually a pattern with some extra worksheets. And then this, which is fill-in-the-blank shawl design, which is like worksheets and things. 
to design shawls knitted. And I think this will be a tremendous help. There are links in here and everything. So my, my um, copy that's online, if I click on the link, it'll take me to where I can get help. But it's got all kinds of, I can't show you because it's paid for, but it, it's got all kinds of worksheets and ideas and chart, way to do the charts. It's just pretty amazing, and I'm looking forward to it because I've been wanting to, to design shawls for a long time, and I think I enjoy designing uh, knitted shawls better than uh, crocheted shawls simply because I don't have to deal with the height of the stitches. So there's some mathematical worksheet on one of them as well. So that's pretty exciting for me. I, I'm enjoying that. I'll, I will enjoy that. I haven't started yet. Okay, what are your... Don't go to sleep. Wake I'm, up. I'm fully awake. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, so, I think I mentioned <clears throat> last week that under Lear's Influence, I picked up the Stock Knitter's Handbook. Lear, who is the bad influence. Um, but the pages she had copied from the book she had just made me want the actual book mm -hmm. that she had. Did you share that last week, or did you just talk about it? I just talked about yeah. it. This only arrived this week. Right. Um, Sensational Knit Socks by Charlene Church. Is that the one that I was interested in too? Or is it the other one? Yeah, this one. <coughs> this one has right. <clears throat> is very good with suggestions. It will... Let's see. It's um, pretty cool inside. It, it is. For example, um, let's say doing a simple six stitch pattern tells you for what gauge what needles to pick um, tells you how to divide things if you're knitting on 4 DPNs versus 5 DPNs versus 2 circulars and then it goes in the heel flap but those are the two things that really stand out three things and there's a picture uh, it's a really amazing book oh it is I mean it's set up very well um, just to keep people in line. Wait, what? Does that make any sense? <laughs> I think she means that it keeps people from getting, uh, making mistakes and things. Okay, so it did actually make sense to what it I was did, saying. It did, yeah. Sort of. Okay, because I just realized I'm not, I wasn't really sure. I get a little delirious when I'm very tired. <laughs> don't worry, Sue. We'll get her to bed as soon and as we're done. And I don't always know what I'm saying. <laughs> But this is a very good book for anyone who wants to experiment a bit with their sock knitting. It gives you multiple options. I bet uh, it tells you how to put different heels on the sh on the sock and different toes. It doesn't specify. Um, so, yes, um, very good book. Because up on the back, it does say, create one of a kind socks starting with ten basic designs. Plus loads of well, stitch patterns. Patterns. It does not mention anything for heels and toes. And no, no, I'm just saying that you, we'll discuss later would that be helpful to sock designers and yeah. you're not sure. But it does. Yeah. Um, but very good book. Looks like it has the anatomy of sock in there as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else? Um, went over the designs. Not a whole lot in autobiography because honestly, I didn't do a lot. A little bit of crafting, but I was busy with a lot of work stuff. Yeah, I, I'm still reading Father Brown. Um, I was gonna say something about something for um, autobiography, and now I can't remember what it was. I did some stuff for the percolator in case I had to substitute prompt, but the lady, uh, the lady that I was talking to that wanted to do the substitute. I contacted her because nobody answered either of us, <laughs> so I didn't want to have both of us prompt or none of us prompt, so I got a hold of her and she said she'd do it, so oh, okay. I have the prompts for a later time. But other than that... Um, um, I've been in indulging in my guilty Star Trek reading. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So. I can't remember what it was I wanted to say. Oh, I, I have done... I, actually, this was last week. Last week's um, writing, I had worked on some edits for, for Prophecy Fulfilled for chapters one and two, and part of two. I hope to get back to that later on, maybe this week. But other than that, it's been kind of hectic doing this and that and the other thing. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. I did go to the uh, doctor for my hands, and there doesn't seem to be any carpal tunnel. They did blood work to make sure I didn't have Lyme disease, didn't have rheumatoid arthritis, and something else. I can't remember what. All that was fine. 
and I am going to be looking for a hand specialist just to see if it's just something that needs to be exercised and analgesics and things like that. I'm using uh, Motrin right now to I'm on the last the tail end of the week that I have to do the Motrin so they said to do 400 to 600 milligrams twice a day actually every eight hours I am doing 400 milligrams twice a day. I'm not doing any more of that. I don't feel comfortable doing it unless I absolutely have to. So that's that. Uh, we want to thank RVA Jenny, who is Jenny from the Lucky Jenny Knits group and podcast. If you don't watch her, you really should. She's a pip and she's got a lot of fun things going on and we will be seeing her in three weeks over mm -hmm. at Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. And whoops, is a bunny. He is. I'm out of drink. I'm not. Okay, we want to thank also, uh, she, she mentioned us on her podcast, which is why I'm thanking her. Right. She, it was a very nice mention on her podcast. And we want to uh, thank Shelly, Shelly Sykes, Victorian Studio, and Brian Yar Brian's Yarniverse for their comments on YouTube. As I said, I was going to answer them when I got home today, but we decided to podcast so I hadn't got a chance. So we thank you for that. Anything you need to... All right, so we need to say goodbye because Ty needs to get to bed and I need to do some things before I have adoration this afternoon. So we want to wish everyone a wonderful week full of knitting, crocheting, crafting, whatever it is that makes you happy as well as a happy Labor Day. If you are celebrating, be safe. And we hope to see you here again next week in the PHN Voon Woman Cave. This is the Pen Hook and Needles Podcast episode 223 and that's a wrap.